What is going on, everybody? The original Mako back with some more Gunfire Reborn content. And today, we're knocking out another showcase, but before we get into that, make sure you check the links down below. As always, if you want to see me test some of this stuff live, you can check out the Twitch link down below, and you can consider becoming a member today. Um, there's four different tiers, and there's a bunch of really cool perks that come with being a member, so check that out. You can see our members on screen right now. Thank you guys so much for your extra support. It helps the channel out a lot more than you guys know. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. But that being said, today we have the Cloud Weaver Showcase, which is another phenomenal weapon from this update, and I am very, very excited to show you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? Just like all other showcases, we're going to be going <clears throat> until we get to the first boss. Um, these are very <clears throat> interesting weapons, and I think I know <laughs> like all the ins and outs of it, but it's still kind of We'll see. So, the Cloud Weaver. You launch five controllable spiritual spikes. Damage of the next attack increases with flight distance. So, the farther away, the more damage it does. And they are controllable spiritual spikes. So, what does that mean? Well, um, okay, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to take copycat. Uh, so, it is kind of important to note how this spike looks in this giant fucking paw here. Okay, first of all, can we talk about, look at the size of this paw, it's fucking huge. I made the comment on stream that you'll probably hear in one of my videos. I mean, look at the, look at the paw, you could literally probably give, give a, a nice, um, a nice, uh, HJ, uh, to the Hulk with that thing, you know? Good lord. But, you can see how there's just one spike sitting in the paw right now. That'll be slightly important when I talk about this weapon later because this weapon is very interesting to use. So, you press the fire button, and then these spikes go out, and they will kind of automatically track to targets. Um, you can't, you have to aim in their general direction, but if there's a target in an area, it'll go that distance. So there's no way to control the distance, but you can control what side, left, right, up, down, it goes. Um, and now you can see the spikes are currently swirling around my hand. So it's not the one spike in my hand. There's now five spikes swirling, which means that these spikes are still on uh, high alert, I guess. So if I turn the corner and there's an enemy, I will not have to press the fire button again. The spikes will just go. And once again, you control them with the cursor. You don't have to press fire. You just do it. And if they don't see anything for a long enough time, they return. Uh, also, you can throw them out. Um, so let's say, we, once again, we have another enemy here. If you right click, then they will instantly come back to your hand. And once again, with the same thing, if these spikes are swirling around your hand, then they are on high alert. Uh, they are ready to go after breakables. They are ready to go after enemies. You don't have to press the fire button. They will just go and do their thing. Um, so they go, do their thing. Uh, if you press reload, they will also come back. And once again, as we note, they're just ready to go. Um, so we'll try to find a good time. Uh, there's very few scenarios where you have to actually refire these. Um, we'll try to f see if we can get... Okay, so there. There was one. Um, so what happened here was we used up all the ammo. Uh, or no, maybe it's because it's the end of the stage. There's a couple scenarios where you have to re-fire it again. But the main thing you need to know is that if the spike is sitting in your hand like this, that means you have to press the fire button again. If all the spikes are rotating around your hand, that means you do not have to press the fire button again. It took me a while to kind of figure that out and realize it. Um, and there was a couple of weird, um, like, things that would prevent me from firing occasionally. Uh, but I think that's because I was trying to fire when the spikes were rotating around my hand, which you can't do. So, yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's kind of nuanced and a little bit weird to get the hang of. But once you get the hang of it, as you can see... Um, it's shredding. Uh, obviously, once again, you do want to be kind of as far back as possible because that means more damage. Um, and then, like I said, if you use up all your ammo in one, in one go, it will force you to reload. Um, but yeah, I think these weapons, it, if the hexagon wasn't so ridiculously broken, 
Uh, these would absolutely be the best weapons in this, um, in this DLC. I mean, these, these are fantastic. They do a lot of damage. Um, they are very, very good on this character specifically because since you don't have to worry about pressing the fire button over and over, you can spam abilities while your weapon is just doing damage because when you're spamming abilities, you know, you're going to want those abilities aimed at enemies as we can see here. So I've got my abilities that are going and doing a lot of damage. I've got um, my weapon that's passively just doing damage as well. So it's really, really, really good. Also not to mention that this weapon is classified as a pistol, which uh, some of you more experienced uh, players might know what that means. That means it can roll with the lightning ball, the fireball, and the corrosion ball on crit. So you get one of these with uh, a ball or two on it. I tell you what, a Cloud Weaver with a nice set of balls is is a run-defining build right there. Like, that is a build you can just have a run-defining build with. Uh, whoops. Did I, did I miss something? Or is this, like, all the way around here? Oh, whatever. Um, oh, no, I already went to the Peddler, didn't I? But yeah, this this weapon's fantastic. It's it's super fun, really really interesting. Um, once again, I think it's a very unique weapon. It takes a little bit to get used to, but once you're used to using it, it's it's phenomenal. And I'm way too close to this enemy, but that's fine. We still got the job done. Uh, but being able to roll the balls on it, uh, being god damn it, being so useful on a couple different characters. The dog is another one that comes in uh, comes to mind. But yeah, it's just, it's it's really, really solid for a weapon choice. Um, and I think, once again, this would be, I'm not going to give any spoilers because we're going to have a new tier list um, coming soon. But this is a very, very solid weapon. There's no doubt about it. Oh my god. No, why did they, why did their heads fly so far? Um, one thing you definitely really want to try to get is either increased magazine size um, something like something like against the flow is phenomenal here but the less you have to use up all your ammo the better because once again using up all of your ammo is one of the few times where you actually have to refire this weapon uh, so the less you have to fire it the better and if you have just a ton of ammo then you're you're in a great place but look we've already cleared out almost already cleared out this entire room i mean it's doing 3k damage on lucky shots that's ridiculous for this stage in the game it's insane um once again it's not like obviously as damage insane as the hexagon is but in terms of like clearing rooms quickly i mean it's it's phenomenal it really is one of the better weapons in the game for being able to clear out entire rooms very quickly. Um, this boss fight will be interesting. Uh, if it's the horse, I'll do it. If it's not the horse, I'm not doing it. I don't think I can do it. He's too fast. Actually, wait, hold on. Can I fire? Thank you. We're actually fast. Oh my god. I do want to make a quick note. This is Reincarnation 8. It's not like I'm... Not like I'm trying to fudge the numbers here. Killing that boss is usually... Okay. Once again, I mean, I've messed with these weapons a lot, and I thought they were really good before, but that just, that just sealed the deal for me right there. That is kind of ridiculous. That that did that much damage, even when he was getting close to me. Uh, oh, long shot. Honor obviously synergizes really well. Once again, against the flow is maybe one of the best things you can get on this weapon. Um, or, or honestly, I think Advanced Depot is probably worth. Anything that allows you to keep ammo in the mag without having to reload is just where you want to be. Um, oh. Double Exhilaration and Gourmet. Meh. Nothing too crazy. Um, you can also obviously pierce through like some shields and stuff, uh, depending on where your projectiles are hitting from. If they're hitting it from the back, you know. 
Um, but it, it, it's just insane how good these weapons are in this new update. Uh, we still have two more showcases to do. Uh, I don't want that. We still have two more showcases to do. Um, we still have the new sniper and the new kunai as well, which those will be coming out very soon. Um, but yeah, as soon as we do those showcases, and speaking of this weapon, I, the other video today is a, a full run, our first full run um, on YouTube at least since the DLC came out, and it showcases this weapon and how good it can be, so uh, that's exciting. But yeah, as soon as we get these other two showcases done, um, we are going to have our next weapon tier list, because, um, you know, they made a couple of changes, and... Having new weapon, four new weapons, I think deserves uh, a whole, whole new tier list. So, uh, I'm excited for it. <clears throat> also, copycats popping off right now. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I, I had, I kind of when I was taking a sip of water earlier, like right after I got out of bed. I literally, I, I took a sip and it didn't go like down the wrong pipe, but it kind of grazed the wrong pipe. And ever since then, I've been, like, having to clear my throat constantly. It's honestly more frustrating than if it, I wish it would have just gone down the wrong pipe. It would have made life a little bit easier, probably. Okay, um... I like to kill the adds first. And I can just deal with the beetle when the time comes. Although, Beetle's gonna be very annoying in terms of trying to A, stay at a distance, and B, hit the crit. Um, obviously, crit multiplier works super well with this character, or with this weapon. I, I. Uh, this is just a ginormous waste of everybody's time. I'm, I'm not doing it. Um, yeah, crit multipliers are huge. If you could get, like, Gemini with a uh, strike wing for crit multiplier, that's, I mean, that's kind of insane. But, yeah, it's just um, probably my... F <sighs> it's so tough to say between this one and the hexagon because they're both so good but in very different ways. Once again, the hexagon, obviously, single target damage is unmatched, but clearing the rooms, I mean, this thing's kind of unmatched, so, it's a tough call, both are fantastic, though, and I would highly recommend messing around with both weapons, I think there's a very good chance that this weapon, though, does not get uh, nerfed, because I think it, it, it works super well, but it's not like overly broken like the hexagon. Um, so that I would say play with the hexagon for now. Uh, have your fun because it will get nerfed. I'm almost certain of it. Um, this one though, I think you're gonna be able to use for a long time and have a chance to get it in its full glory with all the balls and uh, everything else. Is that gonna hit? Oh, can I shoot? Firing after you have to like reload is a little bit gimmicky. Sometimes it like it takes a few seconds to refire, but once again, considering how good the weapon is, it's not a huge deal. This was almost exclusively nothing but weapon damage, and with a pistol in the first area, it's pretty solid DPS. And we're not able to as consistently hit the crits. If we were it would be even more broken. But there you have it, everybody. There is the Cloud Weavers, a very, very fun weapon to use once you get the hang of it. Um, speaking of Advanced Depot, there we go. And I would highly recommend having fun with it, playing around with it. Um, there's a lot of characters I want to try this on. Uh, the Monkey, obviously, just to try to buff its level as much as possible. Um, I want to try to get an Elemental one, play it on the Cat. Um, Dual-wielding Cloud Weavers sounds bonkers so doing that on the dog sounds insane um there's a lot of fun things i want to do with this weapon but let me know your thoughts on this weapon down below i love it and once again the video later today uh will be a full run on the firefox where 
we're mainly focused on the Firefox's E ability, but we have the Cloud Weavers backing us up, adding some extra DPS. So uh, check that out. I'd really appreciate it. But once again, let me know your thoughts down below. I love this weapon. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Plenty of gunfire content coming out soon. Thank you guys so much for the support. As always, hopefully you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I love each and every one of your faces, and I will catch you all in the next video.